Hi guys! The nature of optical illusions is that they make impossible things seem possible. We're used to what's around us in the world we live and often don't even notice how our mind plays tricks on us. In reality, the principle of optical illusion is quite simple, and it all becomes clear when you look at these things from a different perspective. Take a good look at this cube made of smaller cubes and tell me how many colors it's got. Don't rush. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need more time to think. Most people would say there are seven. White, yellow, green, blue, red, brown and orange. But in fact, it's an optical illusion. The brown square at the top middle and the orange in the front middle are of the same color, look. This animated picture has an interesting effect. At first sight, you can only see two colors, ignoring the white dot in the middle. And it's true, there are two colors. But if you'll try focusing on the dot in the middle for a few seconds, you will actually see three different colors. But it's just an illusion. This pic shows us part of an orange rectangle on the gray background. Also, there's a gray strip going up and down. Now try and focus on that black dot in the lower right corner. I'm not sure about you guys, but the stripe I see has turned blue. This is the Penrose Triangle, one of the main impossible figures also known as the impossible tri-bar. When you look at it, it seems that such object can exist in reality. Now take a look at how it all works. Here's a picture of a street. There are three cars on the roadway. It looks like these cars are different in size, right? No. In fact, they're all the same size. It's an example of the Ponzo illusion. The Italian psychiatrist Mario Ponzo suggested that we all assume the size of an object depending on its background. So, if, for example, there are two identical objects and one of them looks bigger, then it's simply due to the background. These opposing blue lines look like they're moving simultaneously, but it all changes when we cover them with those green squares, turning them into a solid blue square. Here's another example. Those who like unusual objects will be interested in this chair designed by Chris Duffy. It looks like it draws on its front legs, but when you sit on it, you'll realize that it's totally fine. In fact, what appears to be its shadow is actually its main support. Next, we have blue rotating crosses and three yellow dots. Now, look at the flashing green dot in the middle for a few seconds. You will notice how those yellow dots occasionally disappear. In truth, they're still there. It's just when objects remain in place and they're surrounded by constantly changing figures, they disappear from our consciousness. This interesting phenomenon is known as Troxler's fading. Now pay attention. Make sure you watch the video in full screen mode and don't take your eyes off the monitor for 20 seconds. After watching this, you will observe how objects in your actual room will start changing shape and color. Wait for a bit and you'll start hallucinating. Now take a look around and have some fun. Okay, now look at this short video and try to predict what's gonna happen. So, did you guess? Let's have a look. It turns out that these pillars are just a 3D painting. Concentrate on the center of this pic and try not to blink. Soon the picture will start fading. In the end, it'll become a solid white background. It took me a while, but I've managed. So, I hope you did well, guys. I'd really like to know which optical illusions you enjoyed most. You should definitely share that in the comments. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and share this video with your friends. We'll see you next time.